everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some quasi dupla ooze. That's right. It's fun to say quasi dupla ooze. This is a deck that we made uh, for a previous format um, that we played before War of the Spark, and uh, by you know popular request, wanted to bring this one back because it was a lot of fun before. The goal of the deck, of course, is to just get a lot of biogenic oozes in play with the help of quasi-duplicate, copying it, and just make a whole bunch of oozes. That's the goal of our deck. That's what we're going to be trying to do. If we win some games, that will be great. If not, hopefully we can make a whole bunch of oozes. Before Last format, we had like three Vivians in this deck also to help us find biogenic ooze. But with all the Planeswalkers running around everywhere in all these decks, I think instead of playing the Vivians, I want to play Immortal Suns in here. Because Immortal Suns make our oozes even bigger. And it just helps helps give us like a main deck card to shut down like all these Planeswalkers that are everywhere. So that's what we got. Um, I'm also playing Rivers Rebukes in the sideboard, which is a card I don't usually really like, but... Uh, with Bant Ramp being a popular deck, I think this is a good card uh, for for the Bant Ramp matchup. Just bounce all their stuff because they just have so many, um, you know, mana creatures, and then like the white finale and and everything, and they just you know put so many permanents out there. Rare Rebuke, bounce them all. You know, just try to try to get a lot of power in play. Uh, that's that's something I want for that matchup. Uh, Besides that, everything else pretty simple. Got normal explore package things, so like even quasi duplicate uh, copying Wild Growth Walker or Jade Light Ranger can still do some good work for us. You do not want to copy a Hydro Crisis because it does enter as a zero zero, so don't do that. Um, but then we can also uh, get some surprise wins here with Adonis Climb, giving you know like these things flying and making them really big. We can win some some matches going over the top if the ground is stalled out. That's our deck. Uh, let's see. Let's go with let's go with Vanifar for our ooze deck because Vanifar is a ooze. So I haven't played this deck yet with War of the Spark. So let's send it on over the, to the traditional constructed queue first. See how we see how we like it over here and give it a go. All right, we need some predictions. How many? oozes will be the most amount of oozes that we'll have on the battlefield at one time. What do y'all think? Do you think we're going to get like over five? Do you think we're ever going to get to ten? Ten oozes? So we see seven, four, six, five, fifteen, twelve, seven, thirteen. All right, we'll keep track here. We'll see. We'll see who's right. A lot of sixes and some sevens, fours. Then we got a few people go with 15, 12, 13. I like it. A bunch of eights in a row there. <laughs> MG was his three. I'm a pessimist. Yeah, well, Shade, Shade over there had two. That's not very many. Yeah, I'll get you the Monorite Crisis. Um, there you go. There's... There's the video for Monorail Crisis from earlier in the the list is in there. Well, really nice start for our opponent. I think they got us.
Really? All right. I guess they thought maybe I could have had a counter spell. All right, Rip Jaws, Brontodons. Hmm. Mortal Sun's out. And take out Land of War Elves. Hmm. Hmm. Climb can get our cards out of like burn range though. Uh, but no, it's not. It's not spectacular. It's. I don't know. Climb. Saying climb slow. It's. It ends games a lot faster than anything. Anything else in our deck. I don't think slow is the right word for climb. the The right word is it. It doesn't have any impact on the battlefield, by itself. But it's certainly not slow. It's how we could win a game quickly by making something big and flying. So if we can like stabilize, climb can help us win the game before they top deck enough burn spells to kill us. Using a lava coil is kind of a good sign for us. I'd really like to draw a spell to play here. There we go, good. So I want to play these two with the five mana. Yeah, Stanley Cup Game 7. What? Why not play the one from hand? Or play the one that's from the light at the stage? What? Yeah, just flexing on us. So that'll kill JR. That's alright. I want more Explore Creatures, or Krasis, or Ooze. Well, Hidana's Climb could help us block this Phoenix. We find Climb. And climb can get us to fly over all these other things too, attack-wise. Ow. It's going to be impossible to attack through all this stuff. Card. You and I are gonna take them out. Oh, that 
was a good one. Oh, it's you burning. We could really use it on his climb. Ugh. Didn't quite get that Chandra. Yeah, I always turn too late with the counter. No, definitely block. It's really annoying. Now they have seven power again, so they can they can block have everything block my wild growth walker and kill it. Oh well, we take out war boss, lava runner, and firebrand. It's just the price we'd have to pay. Could draw Krasis. Want that breeding pool in play. Let's light it up. Man, that Chandra was so perfect. Why couldn't it just been Frenzy? I had the Brontodon for Frenzy. Plus, if we, if we draw... Um, if we draw Hedonis Climb, we need this breeding pool in play, too. Climb... Tilt. I'm just dead. If I attack all out at Chandra, they just take it, have Chandra deal seven to me, and I just am really dead on the swing back. Yeah, it'd be nice if I could lower, lower Chandra's loyalty. <laughs> We're not in bad shape. We're dead. We're, we're just actually dead. Like, this thing just does seven to us. And get some seven cards. This is just gonna be bad for you. We're so dead. You know, we're not exactly alive. Yeah, she does that. They drew that Chandra at the perfect time, and we didn't really draw relevant cards. We drew a, a negate afterwards and nothing else. All right, own one. Supposed to bring me more luck, Hawkeye. More luck than that.
So it does not look like Gruel. Looks like Mono Red again. We have Biogenic Ooze, though, this time. We also don't have land. Biogenic Ooze would have been sweet last game. All right, Boot. Have a good night at work. Man, not having any lands is not fun. <laughs> Thanks, Yod. No more promise, no more sorrow. Alright, I'm gonna keep in one immortal sun because of Chandra. We'll just go one climb. Um All right, good hand. Yeah. Ooze, I mean, two of our best cards against Mono Red are, of course, Biogenic Ooze, how it makes, like, the multiple blockers and everything, and, of course, Hydroid Crasis, you know, being a big flyer. Like, those are, you know, we have 4x of each of those cards, and those are cards we haven't really seen. So, like, how it... Actually, like, we don't have very many cards against Mono Red. We just haven't done a very good job of drawing what we do have. Also... Yeah, five color reborn went four two. Went, we went four two the last time we played it. Also, it's a strong deck. No chain whirler, please. Okay, I'll take that. Hey, what's up, Gatsby? So yeah, waiting on playing Wild Growth Walker until it doesn't die to a 3 damage burn spell. Alright, it got coiled. That's life. Hawkeye's kind of sitting in front of my screen. So because of that burn spell they had right there, I didn't want to just play the Biogenic Ooze. Gosh, that's just a turn too late. Let's find Krasis. Oh, no, Negate would have been good. I don't think they have another shock. They do? No, don't tell me they have another shock. Oh, come on. That's unfortunate.
Krasis? We haven't seen a Krasis in any of these four games. <sighs> no Krasis. All right, now we have now we get crisis though, with having this incubation druid and everything. Okay, it's not a crisis, but that's a good one. We, um, attack or make another three three. More ooze. It's always the answer. More ooze. Crasis. Crasis. Okay, where's a crisis? Yeah, the ooze record is three so far. Ah. Where, where? Oh, and two. No crisis ever. Never crisis. Two matches, zero crises. All right, so yeah, our ooze record was only three there. Sean Z, thanks for the Twitch Prime sub there. All right, let's, we'll play another We'll play another one over here in ranked with quasi do blues. I don't I don't really want to play another event cuz like the events can go pretty long. But we'll play we're going to play another game here though. Try some more ooze. Payback. Also the Twitch Prime sub. Thanks Payback. Ah, thank you. Yeah. Here we go. All right. Uh, well, hopefully Immortal Sun's awesome in this matchup against the person with Bolus Avatar and Bolus Sleeves. Or I guess that's 17. I was behind. You know, we just need like one land here to have like Krasis on turn four to cycle that. <laughs> oh, they fooled me. They got me. The bolus leaves and the the bolus avatar and everything. I was think, you know, control and nope, it's mono white. They got me. Rossi bringing that support as well. Lots of subs, subs today. Thank y'all very much. So far, three is our record of oozes for tonight. Um, playing this game before, we have gotten to, I don't know, like 20, 25 oozes, something like that. We've gotten a lot of oozes you before. Show remorse. I'll show restraint. Don't worry. I got this. Teferi's cheating. <laughs> it's 
Let's try to get that thing out of here. This is hardly my worst defeat. Okay. We have drawn Krasis. This seems like a pretty good Rivers Rebuke matchup. I don't know, is it? You can just like put all their stuff back like the next turn. J Light Ranger. Definitely use Jaylight Ranger. All right, Branchy. Um, get rid of these things. We'll go down to six. Alright, time to cut all these immortal suns that we had in our hand. Play Brontodons, Raptors, Rivers Rebuke, uh, cut Climb. Do we really want Rivers Rebuke? Yeah, we'll probably want Rivers Rebuke. All right, let's give this a try. Yeah, we could have more Riptar Raptors uh, with how we're struggling against aggro here. This should this should help us out though, you know, just like this this sideboarding here. Yeah, like last game of even if just simply the um, the immortal suns in our hands were just rivers rebukes, if just make like that switch would have helped us out. 
Yeah, we could play. Yeah, we could definitely play entrancing melodies, mass manipulations, that kind of stuff. I, I used to have entrancing melodies in this deck, whenever I played it previously. Um, when I was building it here today, though, I did end up taking them out. But, um, yeah, honestly, maybe just going back to melody is the better thing to be doing. All right, come on, draw land here. Come on, deck, draw land. Draw land. Come on, we can we can get a lot of oozes. We need another land though. No. Uh, we just want to have fun. We just want to play oozes. All I want to do is play oozes. Come on, lands. Well, guess we're going to have to play this. It's not a land. Get rid of that. It's not a land. It's not a land. Where are lands? Yay, land. Rip is right. Do I even like have any outs in my deck to like these flyers? I honestly don't think so. Oh, Krasis. Okay, yeah, Krasis. That's lethal. Yeah, not really. All right, quasi duple ooze did not work out too well. We got ran over. We had a lot of like either like not having lands or just having too many lands and all that kind of stuff. Quick, you know, like. Uh, some quick games there, you know, just a small, real small sample, just the three matches, but didn't really go our way. We didn't, our aggro opponents weren't really stumbling too much, you know, like, they, <laughs> they were curving out really well and everything, and yeah, Entrancing Melody would be good in the sideboard. Uh, I basically replaced Entrancing, I used to have it in here, and I replaced it with Rivers Rebukes, because of, like, that Bant uh, ramp matchup, wanting to be able to bounce everything, but... Yeah, for like mono white and uh, like entrancing melody would be good there. It's possible you don't really need force landing or just like the, all the frilled mystics and negates and just move away from frilled mystics with like everybody having little to fairy, just not have counter magic. Uh, these days and just have like melodies and manip manipulations instead. I don't know. Yeah, Force Landing is really for Rekindling Phoenix and uh, like Rekindling Phoenix from Gruul and uh, Arclight Phoenix. Because, you know, Ar Arclight Phoenix is going to be just a really tough tough matchup for, for this deck and so like that's what the Force Landing is really for is for Arclight Phoenix. And like that's that's why we're playing Force Landing instead of any other thing because we want to put the Arc Light Phoenixes on the bottom. Um, yeah, so like 
Maybe just taking out like these six counter spells and just having other things instead of that. But there we go. Quasi Dupla Ooze. Uh, fun deck that we didn't really get to get started with those mini aggro decks taking us down. But that's all right. All right, so that's it here for Quasi Dupla Ooze. So if you're watching this video later on YouTube, uh, hope, hope you enjoyed it, even though we didn't get to do too much. Uh, there, but still please hit that like button and subscribe button. I'd appreciate those. But thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for another video.